Okay, your tempo is fine. Good. Let's go on a circle for just a second here. Your tempo is fine. I want you to try to make the neck a little bit rounder. Um, that shoulder neck you had had a little bit too much bend in the neck and not quite enough outside range. So let's <coughs> work on that for just a moment here on the circle. So without doing the shoulder in. Yeah. Yeah. Try not to use the inner range so much. You can bend. Yeah. You want to make sure that she looks to the left, but you don't need so much bend to the left. What you need a little bit more hold on the outside range, at least for a couple of steps. Try to get her to where she submits to the bit, to the outside range gets rounder. And then you give. Okay? And you can do that with simultaneously having bend left, but don't crank. Yeah. Okay? And when I say bend, you're asking for bend for a very short moment. Let's say the time it takes her to make two steps, maybe by three steps, that's a long time. Yeah, by three steps, you want to start to get off that inner range. Give for a moment, wait several steps, and then maybe repeat it. But remember, bending her left, even if you bend, release, bend, release, bend, release, is not what gets her round. What gets her round is the combination of going enough forward with enough pump from behind and holding her on the outside way without bending her to the outside, her submitting to that pressure to the outside way, and then you give it. Yeah? So the action of your outside ring when you take is not necessarily looking to the right. It's like making the neck round up. Yeah. Okay? But it has to be in combination with your legs. Both, but more so with the inner ring. So that inner ring, outside ring combination then turns into where the horse doesn't bend, but where the horse becomes round up. Hopefully that happens quickly. Yeah, so that then you can release. Now, on top of that, you can add a little bit of bend left. That may sometimes make it a little bit easier to come through with your right leg. Yeah, but so the bend left is not what makes her own. You have to be very careful. The more you bend, the more likely it is that she starts rushing through that outside shoulder and then she ends up losing the balance instead of getting a better balance. Yeah, if she loses the balance, she gets stiff and for sure that she won't get round. Okay, good. Let's go straight ahead. Why don't we go back to that shoulder in now? 